Hello, if you run a library, this video will be helpful to you. So in this video, we will look at how to add students and how to bill them month on month or how to collect fees from your students month on month using Mikata. So first you have to create your student as soon as they join the library, you come to the customer screen, tap on the plus name of the student, right? student 14 I'm just calling student 14 uh, enter the mobile number email address if you want to and then click on save the student account gets created here tap on the student account this is the main student passbook or the entry screen here go to the recurring section in the recurring section tap on plus and here select recurring invoice now this is the screen where we configure the month on month invoicing of the student. So here first go to your add new product or services option. Tap it and then select services. So as you can see, I have already configured some services for my uh, uh, business. So in this case, uh, you can configure any services that you give. It could be based on number of hours uh, in the library, number of days, or based on any plan that you may have. So let me just select one of the service here and select. As you can see, the amount is automatically populated in the recurring invoice and uh, it is selected to repeat for month on month. So I can make it repeat for like 12 months or simply select on the end state and select a very further date in the future, right? Which means the billing keep on going on. It keeps on going on for 33 months in this case. I can give a name for it. Jan entry or something like that. Select notification methods. I want to send notification via SMS, email and WhatsApp, all three. I'm going to select billing cycle as pre-billing cycle because in this case, the student pays the fees and then attends and then uses the library services for the whole month. So the billing has to be pre-billing. And uh, with that, I can also choose to remind the student one day or two days before the due date of every month. So this is what pre-due reminders is. Now everything looks to be set total monthly that the student has to pay is 1500 if I want to add any taxes I can add any taxes uh, everything looks okay so I tap on preview and save so here I get to see all the future invoices that are going to happen for this student starting from January 24th it goes on to February 24th and March 24th so on and so forth I can change the time and date of the billing so that it suits according to your billing cycle. Tap on save and here the uh, automatic billing for this student is now complete. So every 24th of the month a bill gets generated. Once the bill is generated you will be able to see that in the invoices section here because the time has not yet come 24th 1152 the bill has not yet been generated but as soon as it gets generated it comes up here and after all the bills generate right you can check who is due how much by coming to this invoice screen in this screen you will easily be able to see who is due today if any of the students due date falls today you will see here if the invoices are overdue past due then all those you can see here if the invoices are going to fall due in the next seven days you will see here right these are all the invoices now coming to the students like whose billing cycles are happening that you can see here as you can see today is the billing cycle of one student right so it is already showing up here right and upcoming there are three students whose billing cycles are going to happen soon right you can see here so this is how you manage 
the student view and as well as the generated invoices view so once the student pays you you can simply come here mark as record payment add a transaction save it and that's it so the invoice status turns out to be paid okay and it goes away from the screen i hope this was helpful